Hello everyone, and welcome back to Saturn Studios. My name is Kipper, and I'm curious why I'm still behind a fish tank. Me too. <sighs> In this week's episode, talk to Eric Maddy about YMC Radio. I hope you all enjoy. Hello, Landmark students. I'm here with Eric Maddy. He is the professor for communications and radio. Um, hello, sir. I'm good to meet you today. Thanks for having me on, Vicky. I really appreciate you guys inviting me in. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, so to begin the interview, uh, 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 where are you from, sir? So originally, I'm from New Hampshire. I grew up in a small town, New Hampshire, in northern New Hampshire, and, uh, and that's where I grew up and went to public school. Awesome. Um, so, um, um, so what's your profession before coming to Landmark? Before coming to Landmark, I was a student, and I came to Landmark in 1999. Uh -huh. And I was right out of graduate school then, and uh, graduated in uh, May of 1999, and then got hired at Landmark College that summer to come on and be on the faculty here. So you're in charge of the radio, right? So how did the whole radio concept begin? So WLMC, oh, well, that's a great story. Yeah, WLMC started actually as a student initiative and project in the spring of 2007. Um, a student had the idea that we needed to start a college radio station. Wow. And, um, and that student went ahead and took some initiative and put together uh, prices and uh, materials needed. And from that, we formed a small task force of faculty and staff. Uh, some of who are still here, Emily North, and uh, I would also credit Jeff Burgess um, and some people in the IT department. We created a task force from that, and for the next year we started talking about creating a college radio station. So with the students' work and the cooperation with faculty and staff, we formed a little group and said, what is possible? Can we make a college radio station? So. Um, and that's how it really started. And then it, we officially launched the station in the fall, September 2008. And that's when we went live on the air for the first time. Awesome. Uh, sounds like a good run. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and of course, I was a college radio person as well. Oh. And um, so a lot of my passion for the startup of the station came from my own college experience, being a college DJ and uh, bringing that uh, experience and love to what we were trying to do at that time at, here at Landmark. Awesome. Good to hear. Um, uh, so what's your most m memorable or remarkable mo m moments uh, as a professor and, um, and as, uh, as in radio as well? Mm. That's a tough question. I mean, I, I would first highlight the whole journey and hundreds, maybe thousands of landmark college students who have gone through the radio station and um, in the fall of 2008 our first group of DJs I think there were seven total and um, you know I think just highlighting the whole journey of having DJs every semester since that time um, and really watching all those students come through is really a brings a lot of personal satisfaction and joy to me knowing how much the station has impacted those students. Personal, a, a particular highlight, I would say, um, you know, last spring winning the award of the best streaming college radio station under 10,000 in the, in the nation. Oh, wow. That was a 
big award for us um, to be recognized on a national level as one of the best. That was that was a pretty big highlight. Awesome. Uh, sounds good. Sir. I would also just credit students for that as well. You know, that's the students that really make the radio station go, and <clears throat> they're uh, the ones that are passionate about getting on the air, expressing their own voice, ideas, thoughts. Um, that's really what the radio station is for, is for student expression and for them to express their own creativity. And so the awards, the journey, um, the highlights are really come from the student experience and watching them grow. And so um, it never gets old watching uh, students perform in the radio station. Yeah. It never does. It's fun to watch. Never gets old. Nice. Thank you, sir, for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it, Vinky. Thank, Thank you. you. Once again, to tune into WLMC, go to wlmc.landmark.edu or check us out on TuneIn. Hey, Kipper, how are you? I'm doing just fine, Vinky. Thank you. Thank you all for watching this week's episode. Hope to see you all next week. Bye, everyone. Uh, Matthew, what could it possibly uh, be this time? What are you doing? Uh, what's happening here? You don't know. You just randomly walk in front of the camera while we're doing a show? I assume so. Excuse me, but this is not how a proper director is supposed to behave. Uh, now this is photobombing, really?